problem 20 is asking you to find which of the statements about sequences are true. So I have the first sequence statement written up here says that 1 over n is bounded and convergent. So if I look at the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n, it ends up going to 0 as n approaches infinity. Now remember, the rules for sequences are different from series. For a sequence, if it approaches any sort of finite number, including 0, it is considered convergent. Now, the question also is, is it bounded? Well, if I draw the graph for 1 over n, it should look something like this. So it is approaching 0, and it will never go below 0. So therefore, because it never goes below that, it is bounded at that x equals 0 value. So it is convergent, because it came out to 0, and it is bounded. So that first statement is true. The next one is cosine of n pi is bounded and divergent. So bounded and divergent. So, when I'm looking for divergence of this, remember, if I take the limit as n approaches infinity, it should come out to a finite number. But in this case, it actually doesn't. Because a sine wave, or a cosine wave, looks like this. It's bounded. Which means that it's not coming out to one finite value, it's oscillating between a bunch of values. So, therefore, this doesn't have a single limit. So we consider this divergent because it does not come out to one single finite number. However, is it bounded? It is, in fact. So it goes between 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1. Never exceeds anything past that point. Because of that, we consider this to be bounded and divergent. So this statement is also true. Now we look at the last statement, negative 1 to the n, sine of n pi. Now, when we look at this statement, it's asking the same thing that statement 2 is getting asked. It was, is it bounded and is it divergent? So it is, in fact, divergent. And the reason is, is again, if I look at a sine wave, it does look something like that. Actually, we probably want here. However, it might seem a little bit different at first, because if I plug in whole numbers of n, it looks like it only comes out to zero. But remember, if I take the limit as n approaches infinity, it's every single number up to infinity, including decimal values. So this does have non-zero values. And when multiplied by negative 1 to the n, all that's going to do is that's going to shift it in the opposite direction. So instead of having a positive here, it would probably be negative here. Instead of having a negative here, it would be positive. So in this case, it is bounded because it is still a sine wave. And it is divergent because it never comes out to one finite value. Even though it looks like it comes out to zero, it never comes out to one finite value. So this is bounded and divergent. So this third statement is also true. So when we look at the final answers, letter E, stating that all three of them are true, is the correct answer. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Resource Center.